Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the RST Pro Series Ranger textile jacket and trousers. This is RST's most advanced textile suit yet, and it's a modular design that lets you set it up to suit the conditions you're facing on any given day. Rather than having an integrated waterproof liner, you get a separate waterproof jacket and trousers that you can put over the top in wet weather. This is quite deliberate on RST's part. It's meant for people who do big trips and want the ideal protection for each environment they're facing, rather than having a compromise that's okay in a little bit of everything. So when it's wet, it's best to have the waterproof layer on the outside of your kit. That makes it your first defense against rain. It'll keep the jacket dry as well as keeping you dry, which is always the ideal situation. And when it's hot, you don't want to wear a waterproof membrane at all, as even the most breathable membrane around will still make you sweat when the weather's really hot. The Ranger gives you the option to have both. In the rain, you put the waterproofs over the top, and then when it's hot, you just put the waterproofs in your bag. If it's a little bit mixed, you can put the waterproof jacket and the trousers on underneath as a just-in-case measure. Right, let's run through the details. The outer for both is made mainly from RST's Maxtex fabric with ballistic reinforcements at the shoulders, the elbows, the knees, and also inside the lower leg. There's plastic external shoulder and knee cups that give added protection though there is a complete set of higher grade CE level 2 armour inside as well. There's masses of ventilation with the Ranger, two-way zips on the sleeves, they bring through good amounts of air and then there are vents at the front and rear of the shoulders plus two on the back. Those are relatively common but the two vents at the chest of this jacket are very innovative and very large. In standard trim these look like vents because of the mesh material here but these are actually mesh pockets with poppers to hold them shut and then a clever zip system lets you tuck these sections out of the way to reveal a massive mesh inlet on each side and they haul through a lot of air. You get similar vents to those on the thighs of the trousers as well with fold back covers that also reveal a large mesh inlet. On the jacket there's fit adjustment at the arms, the waist and also the hips. The belts below the elbows, they run underneath the vent, so RST have avoided that daft situation where a fit adjuster runs over a vent and then pulls it shut when you tighten it. There are zips and pleats at the hips, and there's an extra press stud for the tab at the hips, so if you open the pleats you've got somewhere to secure the tab and stop it flapping around. Large accordion stretch panels as well around the rib cage also give good flexibility and some expansion room in case you want to wear an airbag jacket or vest underneath. Fit adjustment on the trousers, that's limited to just the waistband. The waistband fastens with twin belts so you can get that fit perfect every time you put the trousers on by feeding the belt through a loop and pulling that as tight as you need it to be. This setup is comfortable as there's no single point of closure and that spreads the load around your waist rather than focusing it on this area in the middle here. The jacket fastener is a chunky zip and it's got a flap behind it to stop water and cold air getting straight through the teeth and getting to you on the inside. And then a flap at the bottom covers the zip and that fastens with two press studs. There's a popper strap towards the top as well that helps this jacket work if you do wear an airbag vest or jacket inside. An airbag is a separate item if you want one and this strap means you can wear one underneath. You can have the zip partially undone and if the airbag goes off the zip won't come fully open under the pressure. The collar is Velcro and there's a hook back to let you ride with an open collar if you want a bit more airflow. The cuffs, they're basic but effective. They've got Velcro closures that have plenty of room to get a winter glove on the inside. Now in terms of pockets, there are seven on the outside of the jacket. The two biggest pockets are at the bottom on the front. They've got zipped closures that fold over and then secure down with Velcro. RST lists these as waterproof, even though the jacket itself isn't waterproof. The lining means your stuff can stay dry on the inside while you're finding somewhere to stop and put the waterproof over jacket over the top. There are zipped entries to hand warmer pockets on the front of those cargo pockets as well, and they work well. There are the two mesh pockets I spoke about earlier at the chest, and then the traditional pocket that you find at the lower back on lots of jackets like this. But on this one, the pocket can be detached completely from the jacket and used as a bum bag when you've got to where you're going. There is also another pocket as well, kinda. If you want to access drinking water while you ride, you can store a hydration pack at the upper back, and then there's an outlet for the drinks tube so you can stay hydrated on the move. The trousers, they've got four pockets. Two have vertical openings at the top and then there are a pair of cargo pockets that sit on the outside of the thighs. The bottom openings for the trousers open up nice and wide to go over a pair of adventure boots and they will also zip up securely over a pair of chunky boots. Okay, before we move inside, let's just have a look at the waterproof overlayers which come in separate bags for the jacket and trousers. They're both made from RST's Synaqua Pro membrane which has a waterproof rating of 15,000 millimeters static head. In pure numbers, that's above average for bike kit, and they're also breathable, which stops you drowning in your own sweat. The zip-up closure on the jacket is protected by twin storm flaps that Velcro over the zip, and then the cuffs are elasticated. They stretch open widely enough to get a winter glove inside the cuff, and that gives you the best rain protection available. 
I found it a bit fiddly to get the cuff over my second glove because putting on the first glove had reduced my dexterity, but I still managed to get it over the top of the glove without too much trouble. The trousers have an elasticated waistband and the legs open up pretty wide as well to go over the top of the normal trousers and they'll also go over a pair of boots. If you can find somewhere to sit down, then I think it'll be easy enough to get them over the top without taking off your boots first. Now, I never had the need to wear the waterproof layers, but I know someone who did get a lot of use out of them. We gave this suit to our contributing reviewer, David, as he had a much stiffer test in line for this than I could ever have given it. He rode to the Moroccan Sahara and back in this suit, and he was full of praise when he got home. He was especially complimentary about the waterproof overlayers. It rained solidly for the first 260 miles of his trip, and the waterproofs held firm throughout, which is very impressive. He also got a good chance to test the ventilation when he rode through Spain, where he said the airflow was very helpful. When he got to Morocco, the temperature was over 40 degrees, and when it gets that hot, opening the vents isn't really helpful at all because it just lets hot air through to the inside, but that's not a criticism of this suit. No suit is gonna make you feel cool when you're riding in those sort of temperatures. Okay, let's go inside where we can first see the warmth layer inside the jacket. This layer is listed as a separate layer, but it does attach inside the main jacket with loops if you want to keep it in there. Having it like this is a good idea in my opinion as it's a subtle standalone lightweight jacket and that saves packing one of those in your luggage when you're off on a bike trip. The thermal liner for the trousers is a bit more traditional in that it just zips inside when you want protection from the cold. Now we also relied on David to test these layers for us when the weather was cold. He does a lot of winter miles around Lincolnshire as a blood biker and he was happy with the protection the jacket and the trousers gave him against the cold. There's a link in the description below that will take you to David's written review in case you want to read his thoughts in more detail on this suit. Now behind that warmth layer is the main liner. In the jacket it's made from 3D bubble mesh which is a high quality lining that helps air circulate around the inside of the jacket which is helpful in either hot weather or cold weather. The lining in the trousers it's a more straightforward mesh traditional fabric and you need more flexibility there than you could get from the 3D bubble material that you get in the jacket. The armour is in pockets within these liners and it all meets the higher level two of the Seagy standard. You get shoulders, elbows, chest and back armour in the jacket and in the trousers there's armour at the hips and the knees. Both the elbows and the knees allow some height adjustment so you can make sure the armour is in the right place for you. It's all soft armour and it's highly vented to allow airflow which is particularly useful at the chest as the inserts sit directly behind the vents. The overall protection ratings are shown on the labels. The Ranger jacket and trousers are both approved to the latest CE standard at AA level. That's the middle of three potential pass levels, but it's very rare for textile jackets and trousers to pass at AAA, so there's absolutely no shame in a AA rating at all. There are two pockets on the inside of the jacket, which sit a bit higher than these outer cargo pockets, so they're the ones that I used to store my wallet and my phone. The jacket and the trousers as well connect with a full length zip, so you know you can get a good seal between the jacket and the trousers. Okay, let's sum this suit up. I think the Ranger suit is for people who want the best for all conditions and don't mind fiddling about with their kit to get it right before or even during a ride. I was planning to take this on a riding trip through Northern England and into Scotland as part of this review, but in the end, I left it behind. The forecast for that was very changeable, which would have meant stopping to put waterproofs on when it rained, and I'm just too impatient for that. But for our reviewer, David, this was his perfect setup. By putting on his waterproofs, he had the optimum way of staying dry. In our experience, even kit with the membrane laminated to the outer shell won't stay as dry as kit that's got waterproof layer over the top. And once he'd stripped off the waterproofs, he was fully vented, which let the air flow through once he reached the warmer temperatures of Spain and down into northern Morocco. Now you might say a jacket with a removable waterproof membrane also gives you that option. It does, it does give you that option, but the membrane for that is on the inside. So the jacket itself would be absolutely soaked through after 260 miles of wet riding, and that's where an external waterproof will always win. The other thing is David is just a more patient person than me. Once I start riding, I hate stopping for anything other than food, and sometimes I don't even like stopping for that. I'd probably end up getting soaked through to the skin rather than stopping to put waterproofs on. If you're like me, having the membrane laminated to the outer shell is the best option really, as we can just ride and we know we've got it covered if it does start raining. But if you're more like David and you've got a modicum of patience, then this is a great option. This is the highest grade of textile suit that RST have ever produced, and excluding their jackets with integrated airbags, it's also their most expensive. As we record this, the jacket is £400 and the trousers are £300. But still, that's a full suit for considerably less than just a jacket when you buy from the premium brands. The Ranger is a serious suit. There are features everywhere, and there's been a hell of a lot of thought applied to the design. 
The armour is comprehensive and it's to a high standard. The construction is beefy and the ventilation is absolutely excellent. That separate thermal destination layer is also subtle, effective and very useful. If you're prepared to set things up in the right way for your days riding ahead, it's an absolutely excellent option. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the RST Pro Series Ranger textile jacket and trousers, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.